excited to be jumping on live today. Um, thank you so much to Julian and the Happiness Aid crew for having me on. Um, all right, so I was just talking to myself because I thought it was live and it wasn't. But I am so, so excited to be jumping on here today. I'm so excited to be part of this Happiness Aid and to spread some positivity with you guys today. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Jess and I am a business coach, mentor and serial entrepreneur as well. So. Um, for those that don't know my journey, I own Ete Swimwear, a global swimwear fashion brand. And off the back of that, I started quite a few other companies specializing in influencer marketing. And also um, now I've branched out into business coaching. So I'm jumping on live here today to chat to you guys about all of the exciting opportunities that we have in this time. And, you know, there are so many challenges as well. Hey, Julian, nice to see you jumping on. Um, there are so many challenges that are coming our way and I wanted to share with you all of the opportunities um, and ways that you can really seize that for your business at this time. So as I mentioned, I am Jess and I am a Zero entrepreneur, so I have actually done it as well. I'm not just here preaching to you guys um, textbook sort of things. These are all things that I have actually done in my many different businesses. I have businesses in the events industry. Um, my swimwear has taken a bit of a hit at the moment as well since no one can travel, but I'm choosing to see the opportunities. And that is where I want to start with you guys today is, you know, deciding what you want to focus on. And I think the importance of success in business and in life and just living a positive life is choosing what you focus on. Now, I'm not immune to it. I have had my own challenges and I could sit here and feel sorry for myself that I've had to absolutely pause my events business completely. Um, my swimwear business sales are really down due to, you know, it being quite a seasonal product and also having um, most of our customers overseas, which have it a lot worse than we do here in Australia. Or I could sit here and actually, I am so, so excited for all of the opportunities that are out there at the moment. And, you know, quite often we can sit in our comfort zone when things are going well. It's super easy to just sit there and enjoy the ride. Right now, we've all been forced out of our comfort zones, thrown in the deep end, and we've actually been forced to make some changes, to choose to pivot, to choose to innovate and choose to focus on the positives in our life and the opportunities out there. So my first step is to start to choose what you focus on. Um, I know that if you're part of this group, you should already be filled with so much positivity from all the other speakers who have been on here in the past week um, and so many more exciting ones to come. But I wanted to remind you, you actually get to choose what you focus on. Um, and like I said, I'm choosing to see the opportunities, not the challenges that I have at this time, because the more you focus on the opportunities and the abundance out there, the more that will come to you. It's kind of like when you're driving a car and if you're consistently looking over to the side and you're distracted by something on the side of the road, you will eventually start to swerve and your car will end up over there. So it's the same with your mindset and with your um, thought patterns is the more you start to focus on one thing or one area or focus on the negativities, you will start to self fulfill that prophecy and you will end up where you do not want to be. So let's start by first changing up the mindset, seeking the opportunities and even just opening your mind to the possibilities and the opportunities that are out there for you because there are plenty and once you put that out into the universe and decide that i want some opportunities i want to start focusing on this they will just start coming to you when you're in the shower when you're driving when you least expect it these opportunities will just come to you so that's what i wanted to start with is changing up that mindset to an abundance mindset and you'll start to see these things just 
happen for you. Um, so another thing is to start to take initiative. So, you know, a lot of businesses I am seeing out there is they're creating things that will help them get through now. But why can't those strategies last you even after this is gone? Why can't you start to diversify your income, um, start new projects and do new things that will actually help you be more sustainable in the future? I am so, so lucky and grateful that I already had I diversified my income. If I had just stuck with the events business and the swimwear business, I would be in a bit of a sticky situation right now, but I know that I would definitely get myself out of it. But, you know, I am so, so grateful that I do have my business coaching and I'm able to throw myself 100% into my business coaching, showing up for my clients right now and helping them where they need it so that they can thrive in this time as well. So what I want to encourage you to do is come up with strategies and concepts and ideas right now that will continue on well after all of this has passed. There's no point putting in all of this energy and effort into building awareness and building an audience and building a customer base around something that you're gonna close down in a month or so when all of this is gone. So how about thinking about the longevity of those ideas that you have developed already or that you're about to develop? Um, so what I was saying is, other things you can look at is what skill sets do you already have? Um, you know, whether you are really great at crafts, whether you're really great at marketing, um, what areas are you really, really skilled in? But maybe you're not actually using that in your business right now. So maybe you're really great at styling, whatever it is. You guys will know best what your skill set is, but for me, my background is actually digital marketing. And if I didn't already have a diversified income, I would have likely started to try and offer some digital marketing um, services because that's something I am skilled in. And that's actually something businesses really do need right now is knowing how to market themselves effectively and showing up for their customers when they most need them. Um, which brings me to another point is do not pause on your marketing right now. Right now is when you need to be showing up more than ever. Um, your customers need you now more than ever. For me, with my swimwear brand, currently um, we're not getting many sales. I have put a discount online and we are continuing to show up for our customers in other ways. People just don't need swimwear because they can't go to the beach. Mostly, um, you know, most of our audience is overseas or over east and they're not even allowed to go to the beach or they're not even allowed to leave their home, let alone go on a holiday. So what we're doing instead is showing up for our customers in other ways. And that might be sharing blogs about recipes. Um, we're sharing a lot on our Instagram stories and getting engagement back. So we're putting up polls, we're putting up little question boxes, getting them to reply, asking questions such as, where's the first destination you're gonna go when all of this is over? So it's still very much on brand, but it creates that open conversation with our customers. One thing we always do, and something I'm really passionate about sharing, is if you do ever put up a little question box or one of those polls, um, on your stories, whether it's your personal Instagram or your business Instagram, reply via DM with every single answer. Don't bother answering to the bots. Obviously, there's a lot of bots out there at the moment. Um, but do definitely reply to every single one. So say, for example, we put up a question box saying, where is the first destination you are going to go when all of this is over? And we got so many replies from our customers, from our followers, and we sent a message to every single one. The good thing is on Instagram is that when you sort of have a look at all the replies, you can easily reply to them. Um, but that was amazing because we said, oh my gosh, I've always wanted to go to this destination. How is it? Or how have you been? And we actually started a conversation. Um, we have over 60,000 followers on my ATS from my Instagram account. Um, and I no longer do all of the social media myself because it is quite a big job. But we take the time to reply to every single one. So if you're a small business, um, 
even if you have more followers than 60,000, it is possible. And I think that's where you really need to start setting yourself aside. I see it way too often where people are commenting on a business's post and the business is not replying at all. They're not even liking the comments, which liking the comments is the very bare minimum. Um, but please do reply to every single person. Reply to all the DMs where you can and just start that genuine relationship. For me, it's not really helping generate more sales for my swimwear right now, but it is helping build that relationship. And as soon as people are able to travel again, hopefully Ete Swimwear will be the first brand on their mind and they just will already have that connection with us when they are ready to buy and go on their next holiday. So that's one of my biggest tips right now is continue showing up. Do not put a pause on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your EDMs, um, on your emails, any of your marketing. Don't pause it just because you're not getting any sales right now because that's not actually the core point of social media, hence why it's called social media. Um, so that's what I would really, really recommend is keep up with your socials. Maybe take a different strategy and start to think about what do my customers need right now? And for us with a young female audience, we started sharing inspiration content. We started sharing recipes, um, sharing our blogs with them, um, body positivity blogs, anything that relates to your brand that can share some positivity right now is so, so important. Um, nice to see some of you guys jumping on. Rachel, Lynn, Priya as well. Um, amazing. Please do send through any questions if you have them as I go and I'll answer them if you guys have any. So another thing I would recommend is don't just go out and start a whole brand new business tomorrow. It can be something super, super simple. And, you know, one of my amazing clients through my business mentoring at the moment, she runs a picnic company where they set up beautiful boho picnics and, you know, people normally gather with a big group and it's all about events and being in public spaces and all of that. She could have very well given up or maybe just stuck into a different business, put a pause on this one, but she has taken a whole new strategy where she can actually deliver to their homes, set up amazing fun activations, and she's actually just launched today, bring together Perth artists and musicians to put on a massive concert. And it's all still aligned with her brand. And when this is all over, you know, this is not only generating income for her right now, but it's also going to help her in the future. This is building up a bigger audience than she ever did before. Before she might have posted a couple of posts, um, but she always had that, you know, the inquiries coming in, the bookings coming in, so she didn't have to think about it too much. Whereas now it's forcing people to really, really get innovative, really get outside the box and do something a little bit different. So. There are so many exciting things out there. I actually just did a post on my Instagram last night um, at jess.williamson8 and I shared all these inspiring stories from my clients who are doing amazing, amazing things. And if you want to check it out, you can. Um, but I think, you know, when you can surround yourself with people doing awesome things and focusing on all of these opportunities, you'll start to see the opportunities as well because, you know, I've had some people actually even tell me that doesn't apply to my business or that doesn't apply to my industry. You know what? Innovation applies to every single industry. Look at taxis, right? The taxi industry said, we're doing amazing. Um, we don't need to innovate. We're just doing so well. Why would we change what's going well? Next thing you know, Uber comes in, innovates the whole industry and taxis look at where they're at now. So I think innovation applies to every single industry, but firstly, you have to have that abundance mindset and be open to change, getting uncomfortable as well, because no growth ever happens in a comfort zone. So you've got to feel uncomfortable. Um, if you're not feeling uncomfortable, then you're definitely too comfortable um, sitting in that comfort zone. So try and have a think about that 
um, because there's so many exciting things out there right now and I want to encourage you guys to do that. Um, something else I have been encouraging um, the women that I mentor and just people that I come into contact with is find a mentor or learn something new in this time. You can set your business up, um, you know, when things do go back to normal. I have a client who um, makes stamps for teachers and normally they are so busy they don't even have time to sleep, barely. Um, and right now, they're really, really low on sales. So they've got all of this extra time. And so I want to encourage you guys to go out and learn something new. Learn something that will help you grow your business later. L learn something or even go out and meet someone. If you have always been thinking, hey, I need a new accountant or I need a business mentor or I need to find someone to help me with my marketing, now is the time. To build those relationships to find those people and they can actually help you set those foundations for when things do go back to normal um, because you'll probably be busy they'll be busy and now is just the perfect time to set yourself up for whatever you need going forward um, other things you can do is you know a lot of online courses I mean things like this happiness aid happened at the most perfect time um, jumping on these lives each day and learning a new skill which is amazing that these you know these resources absolutely free um, there's a lot of free things going on out there and I've actually just launched my own free challenge which is where I'm helping people actually scale their business and take it to the next level but you can find whatever skill you are wanting to learn I mean for me I've actually always wanted to do pottery so I've actually gone out and um, um, bought myself some pottery and been learning that as well but you know there's so many different things that you can do and learn in this time and it doesn't have to be a pressure I've seen a lot of memes and a lot of um, social media posts out there saying you know it's too much pressure everyone's saying go out there and and do and learn and you know putting all this pressure on yourself you don't have to find something that will actually benefit you there's no point going out there and doing 20 courses um, and never actually using that or maybe it's actually better to outsource and find someone to do your marketing rather than trying to learn your marketing and struggle through that. Um, so be strategic and be kind to yourself at the same time but now really is the best time to go out and learn a new skill, find a new mentor, find someone who can help you um, to outsource different things because that is going to help you in the future when things do go back to some sort of normalcy because they definitely will. Um, and it might even be sooner rather than later. So I want to encourage you guys um, to go out there and do that as well. Um, things you can also look for is possibly trades with other businesses. If there's other businesses who do marketing and maybe you do accounting, maybe that could be a great partnership and you can trade some services. While you're both a little bit low on income and you have that extra time, why not spend that time on doing a little trade or a little collaboration where you can both trade something of value. Um, don't go around just asking for free marketing because that's not, not fair on the other party, but making sure that it is fair on both sides so that you can both benefit. Um, there's so many different ways we can all support each other. So, you know, you might as well reach out and ask those questions and make those relationships. Um, so, Another section that I just want to go through is making sure that I did just touch on it earlier, but one thing I want to encourage you guys to do is use engagement stickers in your Instagram stories. Um, if I give you one tip, that is probably one of my best tips for Instagram right now is to start using engagement stickers in your stories. It not only shows Instagram that you are interesting because people are engaging with it and people are actually um, showing up and spending some time watching your stories, but it will help grow and show your, um, show your future posts to that person. Um, and it will just get you more and more views. So I would really encourage you not only for building a community, but it helps with the Instagram algorithm to start to post engagement stickers. And engagement stickers, I mean, are the question boxes, the polls, 
the little slider emojis that you can put on there. Anything that people can interact with is really, really helpful right now to gain more views and gain more awareness, but also gain more traction from your clients. Another tip that I would want to share with you guys for Instagram stories would be to use the question box to start to collect emails. You can put a little disclaimer down the bottom for the privacy statement and things like that. Um, but say for example, for me, my example earlier, we've been sending email newsletters with our past blogs with recipes in them. So something that you could do is post on your Instagram stories and say, Hey guys, we're about to send out our raw brownie recipe. Who wants access? Put your email below and we'll sign you up to our emails so you can get that email. That's an awesome way to build your email database, build that relationship because you're offering them some value. And then thirdly, now you've got the email to market to them when things are back to normal and you want to start promoting your products more or just, you know, continuing that relationship on later. So there's a ton of things to do, but I think my number one tip of all of them is to continue to show up, figure out what your customers are needing right now um, and your followers, whether that's inspiration content, whether it's a laugh, whether it's recipes, whether it's um, valuable tips and tricks, whatever it is for you, um, you know, even if it is promoting your product, if your product is really helping someone, which you wouldn't be running a product or service based business if it doesn't <laughs> um, fix a need or help someone in some way, um, then you do have an obligation to keep promoting that product. Um, otherwise, you're not actually servicing and helping your customers. So that's something to keep in mind. I know a lot of people are feeling guilty at the moment for promoting their product or service. And you've got to remember, it's not about you. It's not about you, it's not about your business, and it's not about trying to get some money for your own pocket. Um, this right now is about being there for your customers, giving them what they need. I have one client who, um, you know, she's a makeup artist and she just actually pivoted and launched an online course and tutorial. Now, the whole idea behind this tutorial is that she feels more confident when she has some makeup on and she wanted to create this course to help empower women, especially in this time, to feel more confident, to feel more empowered and understand how they can create a really simple and easy makeup look. She was really worried about promoting this because she didn't want to come across salesy, she didn't want to be pushy and she didn't want to be seen to be selling something during this time. The thing is, these people would actually really benefit from it. Um, it's not a scam and the things that she is offering to them would really, really help them this time. A lot of people are having a lot of, you know, self-doubt and things and her course could really help those who are interested in it. If people don't want your product and service, they won't buy it. You're not shoving it down your throat. You're not knocking on their door. You're not ringing them every five minutes. You're simply posting or sharing about your business on your business channels. So be there where your customers need you and make sure you continue to show up. Um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys today. It's um, more of a short session, but I just wanted to share with you to start to open your mind and see those opportunities and start to actually use this as a time to innovate, to think outside the box and to get out of your comfort zone so that you can service your customers, service yourself even, and feel more fulfilled in what you're doing. So if anyone has any questions, I'm happy answer them um, but feel free to reach out to me on social media I'm at jess.williamson8 on Instagram I'm always happy to support um, and answer any of your questions there as well because um, I know there is sometimes a delay here but I hope you guys found that helpful and if you missed the start please go back and have a watch because that's where it all starts is with mindset and that's why I think it's such an awesome opportunity to be part of this amazing program such as happiness aid because if our mindset is not in that right place 
we can't actually go out and service our customers. We can't actually go out and be the best versions of ourselves, and we can't actually show up where we need to for ourselves, for our families and for our customers. So that's where it's really, really important. Um, you know, you guys get to choose what you want to focus on. And I hope you see all of the opportunities. I'm actually so, so excited and pumped by all of the, the fun stuff that I'm seeing people do at the moment. So I want to hear what you guys are doing. Please do let me know, send me a message, comment on this post um, and let me know any of the fun and exciting new ways you've pivoted or serviced your customers or just shown up and been there. So yeah, I'd love to hear it because I think the more we can share that kind of stuff, and that's why I've shared a few examples of my clients here, the more it inspires you to see that, hey, if they did it, it's possible for me to do it too. So please, I encourage you to jump on and share whether you jump on the Happiness um, Aid Live you know, Facebook group or wherever you want to do it. But I'd love to hear from you. Um, tag me in your posts or however you want to do it. Um, but I really do hope that helps. Um, I can see some of your comments. And thank you so much to everyone for tuning in. Um, and yeah, please share this with anyone who needs to hear this today. And I hope you all have an amazing day.